Now I think it's a little bit of time for some soap news. Now the nominations has been announced for the TV Choice Awards and we have to say massive congratulations to EastEnders, Hollyoaks, Emmerdale and Coronation Street who have made the short list. Now the list of actors who are up for awards are Danny Dyer, Adam Woodjack, Simon Gregson and Aaron Lacey. Now the best female actor up for this award are Kelly Bright, Natalie Anderson, Alison King and Nikki Sanderson. Now it's all going on, if I could just get my cards correct, right they're all in the wrong order, it's all going on in Coronation Street. Now Steve and Michelle are going to be back from their honeymoon but they walk in to find Liz sitting up the table with a new fella, yes of course. And so that's what's coming up in that scenes of Coronation Street. Now, Dan, who's Liz's new fellow, sitting at the breakfast table when they come back from honeymoon, of course, is completely wrong for her. He's had a horrible past. And, but there's someone on the street that actually knew him before Liz did. As Liz, as on Monday's night, we saw him play, his nasty side come out when he was playing a poker tournament because Liz has such a rubbish taste in men. She really, really does. Um, she and Charlie ended, Tony who tried to rip her off, so basically she needs a new taste in men really. Also it's going to turn out that Lee Ann, who was the former prostitute, had actually was one of, he was one of her clients and he was very very violent to her so she obviously knows him so when he, she sees him with Liz all of that violence comes back. And she remembers all, but will she warn Liz that he's a, not, a nasty piece of work? We'll have to wait and see. Um, but, and also, Dan is going to be violent to Leanne again, sadly. That's exciting scenes coming up there. Um, she really does pick the wrong taste in men. Um, in other Corrie news, Julie is actually going to be leaving. She's going to be waving goodbye to Weatherfield for good later this week. But we really want her to come back, and we want her to come back with Brian. Them two were like... Torville and Dean, even though Torville and Dean are not together. Um, who else can we think? Philip and Holly, um, Sharon and Ozzy, all just like that, really. Now, moving on to Emmerdale. Now, Jay is another wrong un, just like Dan in Coronation Street. It seems like there's all loads of wrong uns in soaps at the minute. He is going to be caught out when he confesses in front of a hidden objects that's got a camera and he's going to confess that he's been having an affair and there's going to be a teddy bear that has a little red camera in its eye filming everything maybe you should think about saying things in front of teddy bears and um it's and it's not going to be very good when rachel gets her hand on the footage let's say to that and it's going to be a twist and she's going to use it to her advantage so that's one to look out for now in eastenders massive scenes coming up in eastenders shabnab dropped a bombshell on monday night that she's carrying kush is baby and she's five months pregnant and of course he found out that she's already got a child with someone else And over the course of this week, he's just going to try and find out. He's just going to try and take it all on board, really. He's had a horrible week, and it's just... Is it going to get any better for Kush? We'll have to wait and see. And also, now on Saturday, it's 30 years since the lovely Doc Cotton started working at EastEnders. She's been on our screens for 30 years. She really is a soap legend. And we have to say a massive congratulations to her. Absolutely fantastic. She needs a Lifetime Achievement Award. We're sure that that may be in the pipeline. Now another story in the soap is, it's a massive story, it's going to help a lot of people and that is Lee Carter's depression storyline. Now at the moment the depression line is going through the soap and it's just really coming out and EastEnders have worked very closely with the charity Mind and they're going to, Mind are going to go through the scripts and see, make sure EastEnders are doing the correct thing and answering all the correct things and also just generally Lee's behaviour is it the same as someone with depression if you sort of know what I mean and also um, more news that Dean Gaffney is going to be returning to the soap for Carol's exit of course we talk about Carol she's going to be leaving the soap now going back to Coronation Street we've got more news from Coronation Street as scenes with Ken Barlow are going to air next week it's been in the papers over last weekend that's just gone. There's going to be Deirdre's birthday and that's when they're going to find out that Deirdre has sadly passed away. So two weeks from now it's going to be Deirdre's funeral and the cast have said it about how hard it was to actually 
lose her, try to get over her death, film the death scenes, and then feel the fu funeral, and then have to go back and watch it all on the telly. So at the moment for the cast, the cast are in turmoil as it is, and it's just no, not good for them at the time. Um, there's going to be lots and lots of hard scenes coming up for that. Um, now there was a sad interview over the weekend with Beverly Callard who plays Liz who works in the Rovers in Coronation Street when, that she did with the mirror and she said that the tears when they filmed the funeral scenes and just scenes like that really were actually real tears they didn't do nothing to make her cry because obviously they were best friends in real life as well um, she said it was so hard dragging it all up again filming it all again but at the end of the day she got such fond memories of Deirdre Barlow of course and Kurt Fry. she was such an incredible actress unbelievable and um, there's going to be a lock-in at the Rovers for poor Deirdre which will be good to see such a celebration for her and but carrying on from the Coronation Street theme there's going to be more happy news as Sally and Tim are going to get married yes it's good that there's some good news from the soap world at the moment that's it from soap news after